Welcome to Megan's Bay Beach. Here are the prices of admission and the rules of the beach. All right, let's go in and check it out. Megan's is one of the bigger, longer beaches in St. Thomas. So it's a good place to go for a walk. You can walk a long ways on the beach here. We've got a taxi stand here. It's easy to get a taxi to here or from here. You've got public restrooms. You've got picnic tables. You've got some covered areas. There's a bar and a restaurant here. The cruise ships put a lot of money into this beach because this is where they have their excursion. So since the hurricane, they've re-nourished the beach. They've planted new trees. There's no cruise ships in the port today. So this shows you what a typical day. Today is Wednesday. And this is just a typical day at Megan's Bay. They've got some little covered patio things here at Megan's. We got a little bit of rain coming through. We just moved our gear into this little covered patio. The restaurant is right there. Paddleboard and kayak rentals are right here. They got picnic tables you can use for free. There are the rental rates. Kayaks are 20 bucks, doubles are 30, and a stand-up paddleboard is also 30. You can rent kayaks, paddleboards, snorkel gear, chairs. Here's the prices for chairs, umbrellas, snorkels, fins, etc. And this is the restaurant. Menu. You get Johnny Cakes, ice cream, they serve breakfast, sandwiches, they got burgers from the grill, $13.50 for a cheeseburger, fried chicken, etc. And then they got a full bar over here. There's one of the covered pavilions, plenty of picnic benches. This may look like a Jeep dealership, but this is just the parking lot at Megan's Beach. What do you think the most popular rental car is in St. Thomas? Okay, this is the other end of Megan's Bay Beach. There's less people down here the farther the road comes all the way down here you can park all down through here so you don't have to walk and there's another um, bathroom down here as well but the farther down you go the less people you'll run into we were all the way down there before the bar is about in the middle there so we're almost to the other end now Oh, you're not supposed to dig holes like that. It's bad for the turtles, don't do it. But the farther down you go, if you want to have a quiet beach experience, then just keep heading on down to the left. If you want to have more people around, a little bit more of a party vibe, stay in the middle of the beach, closer to the bar. But either way, it's just gorgeous. Okay, now we are at the very end of Megan's Bay. The farther you go, the more 
nature you have, and the less people you have. We got some pelicans fishing over here. Probably a little bit better area for snorkeling, closer to these rocks over here. So that is pretty much the tour from end to end of Megan's Bay Beach. There it is from this view. Never shot a video on my phone before, so I'm not sure how well the stabilization is going to be on here. But it can't be any worse than my janky knockoff GoPro that I got. So we'll put this together. You can see, watch this guy. So you can see all about Megan's Bay Beach. Check out these cactus. In Florida, I used to call these pencil cactus. They didn't, I don't think they grew wild, but you could buy them like at the Home Depot, but these things are just like taking over this whole hillside and they're growing up some of these trees like a vine and taking over. It's pretty interesting. And they have these roots. These are the roots exposed to the air. I'm guessing they can suck water out of the air like a succulent can. Unless all of their moisture comes from the ground, I really don't know that much about these, but I do find them to be cool to look at and interesting. So this is the very, the very end of the beach. How do you like my ones? I love it. I got a new hat, but she said she doesn't like it. She said I look like I should be in the Amazon jungle. Leave a comment below if you think it looks like a beach hat or like an Amazon jungle hat. Right now with my sunglasses I look even cooler. <laughs> Here's a pro tip. If you get here before 8 a.m. you don't have to pay to get in. And there's quite a few people. We were surprised how many cars there were. People that didn't pay to get in. And then you can go running like this lady. Excuse me, lady. Yes, sir. Uh, you came here early to uh, avoid the bees to get in the park? Yes, and avoid the people. Oh, there's less people also. So now you're going to go for a run? Yes, sir. Okay, well, enjoy yourself. Thank you. It's a beautiful day.